<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Ice Valkyrie. Welcome to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is a Wii U game, and we are, it's another one of the games that I was uh, wanting to try out. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I'm just going to be playing a uh, small section for you. I've obviously advanced quite a bit in this game, so I'm just going to try to show you guys exactly what this is about. Anyways, um, so here is Port Prismo. Uh, it's the starting um, area that you basically play in. Um, the concept of the game basically is that you arrive here um, because of the fact that one of the toads um, was sent by mail and he had lost his color and he looked like he was dead. So you are on your journey with Princess Peach and Toad and arrive in this place and all of a sudden there's nobody around and you're like, what's going on? And you arrive here and basically you get introduced to this other character, um, which is a paint can. And this paint can which I don't, is right there. You can see him on screen when he was with us. He's responsible for bringing the color back into the world, uh, like alongside Mario basically. Um, you can also notice that he's holding cards. Um, I'm gonna show you an example of this later, but uh, basically you have to bring the color back into the world because it's being taken away by you know who. <laughs> uh, so this town actually has been completely restored and um, we're on a hunt again um, for the, the star. So we've already got our color star anyways with this uh, this level here, so we can go here and uh, check out the store. Now the store is pretty important because you can buy new cards. I'm just gonna save here before we go anywhere further. Um, basically you need the cards for battle, so when you're in a battle you're going to be using these uh, cards to beat your enemy. Each one has a different type of uh, function, so basically like the boot ones are associated with Mario's jumping and of course Mario is jump man so he hits his enemy from jumping on him. Then there's his hammer that he has here that uh, we use to boop the enemies. And of course you got his his uh, classic uh, fireball and ice ball and then, then there's the, um, the mushroom which gives you a revival. Um, points and then for now we have like the spike helmet as well that we could uh, could use against our enemies too which are tougher enemies of course because they're a little bit advanced but as you notice there's also ones that are not colored um, you actually have to color those in battle which is kind of a crazy cool concept because uh, throughout the game you're actually filling up on um, you're filling up as you go along because you can hit objects with your ballot and I'll just show you an example then there's like paint that comes out and it fills your gauge that's on the top on the top left corner. So we're always looking for different objects in order to hit. You can hit trees, you can hit flowers that have different color and they give you a different color for the actual um, notification there. Um, I'm just gonna go in here because um, apparently I have mail. Hey Mario, great timing, you've got new mail. Mr. Mario, thank you for showing me your illustration card collection the other day. Since you possess such a magnificent collection, I was wondering if you might help me out with something. I await you in the Action Command Dojo in the Yellow District. Okay. Alright, so there's something that we can do here, apparently. Even though the guy that we just basically um, talked to was this one over here. So we're gonna go check out this. This is considered the yellow district, and the little dojo that he's talking about is in here. So we're in this space. This is the guy that we were talking about earlier. Ah, oh, Mr. Mario, how splendid that you have good sense to entertain my offer. Follow me, please. Come this way. I have no idea what he has here. Wait, a secret door? What's with all this high-tech stuff just sitting around in a crummy storage room? This is weird, Mario, but I'm thinking you could be good weird. Let's check it out. So, let's go. This guy's very on this. <laughs> Ooh. Spent long years of my life designing and instructing this place in order to document the history of culture of Prism Island. Welcome, friends, to a little place that I like to call... 
Prisma Museum. <laughs> I guess these are like extra features. Ooh, look at that. Oh, okay. Now it's on like the bottom of my screen, so I don't know if you see this. Anyways, um, I've unlocked the music from... Port Prismas. Ah, let's try this one. Okay. So basically it's all the music that you can unlock from each area in the town. Or each town's actually. So we're gonna go back. I don't um, Alright, so... Yeah, we've unlocked this one, which is definitely different. Um, let's try it and see what happens. Alright, so if you notice, there's like white spots that are on different surfaces. Basically, that's your job in order to actually restore it. So you have to press the X button in order to get out your color hammer. And in doing so, you actually um, can gain certain items. It might take a few whacks to actually get things done though too. Um, and in doing so, you're actually wasting um, basically your paint colors, so you always have to check for more. Uh, so we're in like a sort of newish area, I guess, here. Oh, hello. Daffodil Peak, home of the legendary Mountain Sage. Mountain Sage? That's one of those guys who knows everything, right? Amazing, did you hear that, Mario? This guy's really wise old sage. He must know where to find the paint stars. Let's climb the mountain and meet the mount, eh, mount sage. Good idea, but you'll need a climbing permit before you can let- Ah, oh, what the hell. Go through the gate to your right and buy a permit from the park ranger. You'll find him in his cabin. Oh, they're not making it easy for us. Okay, so let's paint the town. Red! <laughs> I'm kidding. They actually make that reference joke. Okay, so we just picked up some paint there. I wonder if we can hammer these. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, that's cool. Some of these stones, like, they, they turn around. And they give you little plops. So we just pick up some of those, that would be great. Okay, let's go check out what's going on here. Hopefully nothing terrible. Oh, okay. What's this place? Mood seems kind of gloomy. Is this the park rancher that Gatekeeper mentioned? Maybe he's one of those email types. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Oh hey, need a climbing permit? Yes sir, we'd like to climb Daffodil Peak and meet the mountain sage. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, but I'm not really in the mood. My cabin is a wreck. Vandals broke in and drained the color everywhere. I'm too depressed to do my job. We understand. These colorless spots are really a uh, real downer. I'd be depressed too. Mario, this guy's really bringing me down. Think we can fix this place up a bit? So basically he's asking us to help out and restore things. Um, which is good because, yeah, we can also co get cards and whatnot, which is really cool too. Wow, he's got a pretty snazzy place. Woo, my cabin, I can't believe it! Cool, can you give me a permit now? I'm gonna fix my place sucks so much. My heart and my cabin are back to their greatest happy selves. There's a thank you here. What? Take this climbing permit. They usually run you in a pretty penny. Okay. That is such a weird place to put a safe. We got it for free. I didn't even have to pay for it. Alright, let's go. Let's go do some climbing things. Yep, yep, yep. Whew. Climbing permit! Oh, yeah. Surprised you got one considering the park ranger has been rather in the dumps. Anyway, let me start my spiel over. Helps me remember my lines. Ahem. Welcome to Daffodil Peak. Rem okay, whatever. Uh, you'll find the stage okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> we have to go up the pipe. Have a good climb. Let's do this. 
It always irks me to find out like how he actually climbs the pipe being paper. Ooh boy. Okay, so here we are. We're going into a battle. Um, this is the first time I'm fighting the spike dude, so we're just gonna um I'm gonna have to show you exactly. There are cards that you have to select on your actual um gamepad that's here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select two cards because I was able to get um double cards on this one. And I'm going to also select a another hammer. And we're gonna color those cards. And we're gonna send them out to play. Now you can get bonuses by getting the jump right. Or even the hammer right though too. Certain cards do do certain things though too as well, so it's important that you uh, you get those so that you can get the bonuses for them. So we got a perfect bonus. Alrighty then. And then of course they dish out um, points that level up your hammer and whatever. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. We got a level up for our wonderful hammer. So now we can hold more paint. Okay. Okay, so we got that. We got that. This pretty cool. Um, is this color? No, it's not. I can never tell which ones you need color for and which ones you don't need color for. It's very suspicious. Ooh, there's a bite in the. <laughs> That's new. Let's bop them. There we go. That's a one hit right there. Called the one hit, anyways. Yep, yep, yep. Get some revival stuff here. Oh, I can hear some above. Yeah. What's your deal? I feel like the cliff increased my leg is pretty bad. Oh, let's see if we can help him. Help him? I thought it was a girl. <laughs> Let's get the coins before we help him out. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Ironed out. Fix my leg, thanks. Toad number one, purple rescue squad reporting to you. Oh, okay, that's one of those purple dudes. Alrighty then. Okay, so let's fall down here. Um, we have to go back to the top, so we obviously have to go this way. Um, not too sure about the rest of this. Um, so I guess we have to fall down here, because that's where the door is. I'm just gonna try to color... And I guess go see the sage that's supposed to be here. Whoa. Oh wow. Whoops. There we go. Finally got it. That was not easy. You have to get all the colors right. Oh what? What? Prize pipe pass. Pick a pipe. Oh, jeez. Um. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna go to the middle one just because. I don't know if this one was a good one. No, it wasn't a good one. That's so weird. It's like a mystery door. Let's go and um, unlock this thing. We only have a small amount of time to do it anyways. Hopefully we won't run into anything in the meantime. Why do I have like... Okay, that's super weird. Hello. 
What? Why didn't that work? Oh, is it because I didn't color? Oh, fuck off. Really? Is it wasted? There we go. Got it. What? Where's that go? Oh boy. Hello. Well met, Mario. I am the Mount Sage of Daffodil Peak. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just a regular old toad. Sorry to keep your hopes up. I paid all that money for a permit and then busted my shroom all the way here for nothing. On the bright side, I get to see one of the mini paint star things. You can beat the view from up here. Anyways, happy trails. Oh, you son of a bitch. And there's no mountain sage. Shenanigans, I've been had. Mario, let's give the gatekeeper a piece of our mind. After we grab the mini paint star, of course. Well, um, I love that, but I'm not gonna get the paint star just yet, because then it means that it's gonna end the level early. So, we're gonna just do the other, um, pipe first. Because we haven't done that pipe yet. Get some of these color spots colored again. Um. Eee, get away from me. Cool. Do that. Can I jump on top of the... Oh no, I can't. Damn it. I was like thinking like how how do you get up there? There's like a secret pipe or something on that side. It's it's like a um, rusty colored spike. So there's got to be a way to get through that part. Um let's go kill the uh the star for this level anyway. There we go guys. We totally fixed that. Let's go back to the Peak and give that lion gatekeeper. Kinda weird that a toad would do it. He's closed, not even there anymore. Hey, liar face, this is no mountain sage, just made up sell tickets to boring mountain. Whoa, 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 keep your lid on. Mount Sage isn't real. I'm as disappointed as you are. What? You thought he was real too? Yeah, I believe in my heart uh heart of hearts that the Mount Sage is real. Though I can't remember why I was so convinced. Come and think of it, I can't remember anything about before accepting this gatekeeper job. The last thing I remember is the park ranger bringing me here, fighting my stranded at the top of the mountain. Okay, I think he is the mountain sage. Well, I guess it works. Behold, the power of the chosen. He's got a key. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I think he just destroyed somebody's house. <laughs> Usually we were chosen toads aren't meant to use the power for such savagery, but I have some aggression to work out today. He must have snuck up and drained my head while I was meditating in his chance. Oh my god. Okay, well that answers my question. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna hammer this. Alright, guys. That did it. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I can either go... I'm gonna go on top. But where does this go? It goes to the other side. So I'm gonna go through the pipe first, and then go back to the other side to get the star. Cool. And there's paint here too. Nice. Just so that we can like say that we've cleared a bit of this area. Um, I'm gonna see how much percentage. You can actually check the status of everything. Oh. I'm only missing one of them. So if it's just that 
one spot that I need to get. I'm probably gonna just go back to it and try to get it first before we move on to the next area here. Come on. Did that just give us 100% or what? Yes, it did. Okay, good. And it got us into a bit of a fight. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. Let's see if we can run away from this one. I don't feel like running, uh, getting into a fight with these guys. There we go. We got out of there. It's all good in the hood. Okay, uh, bleh, bleh. I'm lost as to where I'm supposed to be going right now. Okay, yeah. Alright, here we go, guys. Get our star. Whew. I got something special there. I don't know what that was. Plop. Oh. Huh. Kind of just like doubles back around. What does that do? What? Another battle arena? Interesting. There's like battle arenas on this um on this game that you can go and check out. I haven't gotten all of the purple prisma dudes, I guess you can call them. We need to actually get those. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's very different. Uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. I enjoyed it very much. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still playing this. Um, if you guys like it and enjoy this type of game, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you think about it in the series. Um, I certainly do like it because it's very colorful like I said. And the fact that the Paper Mario series is still continuing is such great. Uh, a great thing and um, I really just enjoy the battle system the snoop concept to go with the card battles is pretty cool so it was really awesome to play this game anyways feel free to please comment like and subscribe to me if you haven't already my name is Ice Valkyrie I'll see you guys in the next video take care